Hi guys, this is Sarah from Just Another Story and I am here with my uh, Stacking the Shelves or my book haul for I guess November and part of October? I don't think I did one in October. Or no, this is late so whatever. Um, I have a book haul. I have a few books to show you. I want to get right into it very quickly. I will show you from the, the first books that I got to the last, the most recent I guess. Um, so I'm gonna hop right in. So the first stack of books I got from Claire over at Claire Reads and I will link her blog below. She was my uh, Santa for the fall book exchange um, that's hosted by Ruby at Ruby's Reads. Um, there's also someone else who hosted with her and I can't remember who it was but I will link that below so take a look. Um, and so she was incredibly generous and sent me a paperback copy of Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. Um, I'm so excited to have a copy of this book. I loved it. I loved it and I'm really glad it's the paperback copy. It is the UK cover which I like. I think it's an interesting cover. Yeah I like, I like the cover. But I'm really excited to have this. I really like the book and I'm really, I really really wanted to own it so yeah. Pretty thrilled about that. She also, this time, I'm really excited, sent me a paperback copy of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I loved this book when I read it last year. I read it this time, around Christmas of last year. And I loved it. I thought it was so good, but basically forgot about it until the sequel came out uh, recently. Um, and I don't remember the story very well, so I'm, I was wanting to reread it before I read the sequel, which is Days of Blood and Starlight? Daylight? Days of Blood and Starlight, I think. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, but I'm going to reread I'm glad that I have this because I did want to reread it uh, before I read the sequel. So yes. And it's beautiful. I love it. It's got like this little flap here and the beautiful cover. Pretty thrilled. Yeah, I was pretty thrilled. Um, so thank you, Claire, so much. Um, I will, as I said before, I will link her blog below so you can go and take a look because uh, she's Aussie and has some really cool reviews and things. Um, the next couple of books that I have, or a few books, are ones that I bought. Um, the first two I bought as presents. Um, here in my house, I share a house with a number of people. Um, we do a like, secret Santa at Christmas time. And I got uh, one of the boys, like one of my housemate's sons. He's 11 and he loves to read, so I got him two books. One he's read before. Um, this is the one he read before. It's The Last Hero by Rick Riordan. Um, I might return this because, he ha again, he has read it before and I'm not sure if he wants to own it um, and I have other ideas now of books that I want to get him but I saw this and thought maybe he'd like it. And this is the, I think, the sequel series or the companion series to the Percy Jackson series. Um, this is the Heroes of Olympus, so I think they're a little bit older. Um, and this is the first one, which is the last hero. So yeah, I, he really likes the series and he's waiting for the Mark of Athena, which is the third one in the... In the trilogy, I think it is a trilogy of three, but I'm not sure. Um, and he's been wanting to reread the series, so I'm like, I'll buy him the first one. But we'll see. The second book I got him was The Mysterious Benedict Society. Yeah. Um, by Trenton Lee Stewart. This, um, I believe it's the prequel to the series, which is uh, The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict, which is, I think, up for best middle grade on Goodreads, like in that, um, the Goodreads Awards, but I'm not sure. I think one of his books is up there, yes. This is the first one in this series. Um, I think it looks absolutely adorable. It's gotten great reviews on Goodreads. Um, I did my research on this one because I hadn't heard of it before, but it does look really good and I'm, I think he'll really like it. So if I return this one, um, I'm going to get him the second book in this series or maybe even the prequel. But I'm excited to read this. I'm glad to give it to him at Christmas and then have him read it so that I can read it right away too. The next book is one that I bought um, for myself. And this is Christmas Eve at Friday Harbor by Lisa Clay Claypass. Clay Claypass? I don't know. I, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's Christmas time and I felt like a good, cute, romantic Christmas read. It's like just over 200 pages. Um, I've seen a number of reviews on it last year and they and uh, the reviewers and bloggers said that they liked it. Um, and I really like her writing, I like her contemporary novels and so I'm excited to read this. I think once I'm settled down with a cup of tea or hot chocolate or cider or something and can get that done in probably one sitting. And it was only $4.99 so it was a real steal. Uh, my sister's trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> 
And finally, last but not least, a book I got for review, and I got Sever by Lauren DeStefano. I am thrilled about this. I... Th this is the last... Okay. Let me calm down. <laughs> this is the, uh, this, like, the finale, right? Like, the last book in the Chemical Garden series. So... Anyways, uh, she's annoying me. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, distracted. But yeah, the last book in the Chemical Garden series, I finally get to read and find out how it all ends and what's going on and if they find a cure. And oh, I'm so excited. I just want to read this right away. And I think that I might. I think I might drop everything and just read this next because I'm so excited. So I got this from Simon & Schuster Canada. Yes, I'm so excited. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anyways, that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If I don't see you before the new year, but I'm sure you will. I think I have another, I have a few books um, I'm expecting, so you might see my face again. But if I don't, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!